Hello again, this is Tadger182 and welcome back to Life is Strange. We're going to kick off with Chapter 3. Just a heads up for people, these are long episodes, I apologise. But it's just, for me, it's more fun to play it all through in one go. And upload it in one go. If you get what I mean. But, anyway, it's probably going to be about two, two and a half hours long. It's just a heads up. If you don't want to watch it, that is fine, but for those who do, Get cozy and let's have fun. In the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa! We called film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm so sick is. of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Oh dear. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Yeah, the last one I was a hero. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. I was just about to say, I saved her. What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll no. believe anything this week. Cute. Love the music for this game. I say it every episode, I apologize. But the music for this game. It's perfect. The artwork, the music, everything. It's just... I don't know. Dreamlike? Is that that be the correct terms? I don't know. <laughs> Fuck knows, I'm just babbling. Yep, yeah, hitting the books. and the cow? Or is that the winger and the cow? Fuck knows. Oh wow. Kate! Oh god. Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. That's Kate's rabbit, isn't it? Okay. Feed rabbit. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. Nosh? No. Cute. Don't tell my missus I said that. For ages, she was trying to get me to look after a rabbit. No. Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. Nah. <sighs> Should we take a selfie? Use. <sighs> Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. <laughs> Right, there's nothing changed in here apart, f apart from, uh... No way can I clean that shit off. Time to get Samuel da Vinci to repaint. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with Samuel. He's cool. 
little bit freaky, but it's cool. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Light. And... What's going on here? Hello, Dana. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. We're all responsible. I think we're all responsible for what happened. True. But you're the only one who went up to that roof with Kate. I was lucky. That's all. No, girl. That was not luck. You made a choice to save her. Like a superhero. Yep. Then maybe it's what time a, to catch I'm a superhero. the bad guys. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? Uh, do I be truthful? <sighs> yes. I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now, but people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Oh, was that a bad thing? Paper ball, look, go. This is both sad and pathetic. Oh, let's read it. I can't read that. Okay. No. You're not having that guy back. He's a douche. And I don't usually usually use the word douche. Stick it. Yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. Yep, let's go. Run. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Very nice. Praying for a fast recovery, crate. Kate. Crate? Incredible. Taylor is utterly shameless. Oh, they both messages for Kate, yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Where's Kate's room? That's the toilets. Barricade tape. Look. So much hypocrite. Oh, okay. Do we go in Victoria's room? Feel bad for this one. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. Go for it. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Mm. Very nice. Isn't it a bit early for Christmas? First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. Laptop, use, go. Well, well. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. Okay. This is like a thread for sociopaths. Max Crackfield? Lame. Party on, dudes. <laughs> okay. If you guys want to read that, carry on. I'm just going to skip through it. I'll read it later. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. <laughs> wow. Victoria's Secret. 
She's a geek. <laughs> Interesting. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. Yep. Loaded is right. Desk, search, go. I'll title this one Portrait de la Assholes. <laughs> Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Yeah, she doesn't look like she's having fun there. Draw. I'm gonna get These caught. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, I'm getting paranoid. Do they really need that crap on the door? Yeah. Kate's still alive. You can't go in their rooms, can we? Nope. Okay. Fine. Moving on. Are we going to get busted? So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Oh, the most magical insects. Burn bright. No. Why won't they fit? Principal ah, Wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you, you saved her ass. Maybe save Blackwell. Maybe. Now don't get caught. Go on back inside. You earned good dreams. Okay. Wait. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? What happens if I reverse time? Fuck. Okay, how am I going to get past him? Huh? What was that? Well, almost lost another student. I wish Kate Marsh would just skip town. Now I have to deal with more pissed off entitled parents who want to blame me for their mistakes. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I love it. Can we? Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. Okay. Nothing here. What am I looking for? Nuts and bolts. Like my grandpa's garage. That's very nice. <gasps> What's this? Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? I thought it was boobies. I got excited. Apologies. Okay, so we can't go through there. And I need to go out through the front. Cock. Oh wow. Bye squirrel. Okay. Need to get past him.
anybody has any ideas, you're probably screaming it in the comments right now. Run. I know I have a set of keys on me somewhere. Ah, gotcha. Max the ninja strikes no. again. Why won't they fit? Ah, fuck it. <laughs> That was a quality time, just skip out. <laughs> ah, fuck it. Right. Okay. Booyah! Fucking hell. Get it? Booyah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. <laughs> hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. <sighs> Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. You just guessed. Don't be That's so the modest, dog. rock star. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing. And your badass power is going to save us all. Hopefully. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yep. yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Yep, that one so. Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to, oh yeah, manipulate time and space. No biggie. <laughs> Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Um... Oh, this is awkward. Okay, Rachel. We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody. Even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think what she could be. You have a friend in front of you. Do you think she's... Kicking it in Los Angeles? That would be the best case scenario. <laughs> she wouldn't leave without me, okay? And how often do missing girls turn up? We have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You oh, are wow. such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Oh dear, that was so corny. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Wow. Katie? Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. No. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Nothing wrong with Listen, that? Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. 
Just imagine oh, if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going oh to think God. that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Dirty slut. Are you fucking kidding me? You just got shot down. Bingo wings and everything. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Yep. Hand in hand. Okay. What are Chloe we doing? the Keymaster. You know it. Okay. What am I doing here then? Dude. I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. <laughs> Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. One, yeah, one more door. Never works out that way. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's Hello. hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Okay. Is there a key? Key, key, key. Show yourself to me. Nothing here. No, that's definitely not a key. Dead end. Bigger dead end. Boring. <laughs> Crap. You are just full of one liners tonight. I feel bad for the twee hipster who lost this beret. You, Betty's cute. You should take the beret. <gasps> Here we go, keys. Here are the keys. Oh, none for the principal's office. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your okay. physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Okay. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. And Chloe's probably sitting there going, This sucks ass! Goddamn door! Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell! Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? Working on it. I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Okay. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. 
Wasn't there a bin round here somewhere? Aha. Trash can. Search. What do you know? Trash. <laughs> Search that one. Nothing in it. Is that a piss stain? Jesus Christ, can't people hold it? Okay, we're going this way. Doing, 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 doing. Ooh, trash can. No can here. Yeah. Release the crack can. Uh, that was really bad. It's all mine anyway. Okay, so three more items to go. We've got the can. What is it we're looking for? Okay, so can, tape, sugar, and whatever that is. Gross. I hate that formalin smell. Aha, sugar. Ooh, sugar. Brucey, what's this? You're halfway home, Max. An A minus? All right, all right. So Dr. Max did help Warren this morning. <laughs> now we're after chemicals, which is going to be chemistry stuff. Look. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Here's the sodium chlorate box. Okay. A chair. You're not gonna be able to you get it. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Yeah, good girl. So now I need duct tape. Only one more ingredient left. I got a feeling it's not going to be in here, is it? Okay, no, it's not going to be in here. Okay, go. Maybe, just maybe. Smell like this sex. is like a scene in a horror film. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Bang, bang. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer. <laughs> Said Max, the art critic. Okay. I keep saying okay. I need to knock it off. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. There has to be some tape in here. Yes, there is. Sweet. The tape is mine. Four items. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Oh, so cheesy. Much pun. Run. <clears throat> oh, bollocks. Hey, that way. <laughs> Guide me, oh sweary one. Pipe bomb. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! 
get ready to haul ass. Got a boom. <laughs> fucking hell. That was so fucking cool. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Running and rewind. <laughs> Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. <laughs> How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm <laughs> gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. Wow. That chat does look crazy. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Turn everything on. Nope. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Only... Two more files to go. Oh, what did Warren want? Uh, Warren, two messages. <laughs> Private number. Okay. What does mommy want? <laughs> Cute. Right. File search. Go. Tumbleweeds. You're a tumbleweed. Look at this pile. You're a pile. Student files. Here we go. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. <laughs> I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. He doesn't. You're good. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Cabinet, go. always wanted to say nab. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. <laughs> Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. See attached police reports. <laughs> I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Not yet. Not yet. So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully, too. Shocker. That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. <laughs> You're not so tacky up close. Pretty cool. Okay, go Chloe. Max, you better come check out these files. 
Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. Sounds a bit. I know he has iffy. something to do with Rachel missing. Defo. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. <laughs> Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? <laughs> or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Yes. Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Thief the money. You really wanna take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office morgue. <laughs> Steal the chair and be done with it. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. Okay, let's go. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. <laughs> hella is a bad influence on anyone. Nobody should say it. But here we are. You're saying it. Breaking and entering into yet another building. Brilliant. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. <laughs> we still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Okay, Chloe, what have you got planned? Boys or girls? Girls. Why not? Girls, of course. Girls. Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Brooks locker. Oh. Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Really? Wow. Where does that other sock go? <laughs> Interesting. 
Those are some musty ass old shirts. Oh. If I could rewind back to the 1940s, I'd get in serious trouble. <laughs> Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. Want? Flippers. Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? Kate's locker. Uh oh. A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? That's interesting. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. No, they're not. Go fuck your selfie. Pull rules. No one has rules in the swimming pool. And the verdict is... Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light! <laughs> Where is it? Not in here. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. Switch on. Boom. What the hell was that? that... Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Ooh, what can we find in here? Yes, we get it. Otters. Go away. Rescue dummy. Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. <laughs> Sweet dive. Time to do or dive, Max. Oh yeah, baby. Feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Oh dear. This is gonna get awkward. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie! Okay, you asked for it. Uh, this has just got awkward. Really Cowabunga. awkward. Cowabunga! Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. Jaws was such a good film. Cheesy as shit, but fun, funny. I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. <laughs> You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like... This force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. You got lucky. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Thank God. But what if I had? What if? 
Kate didn't jump, but you would be... dead. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected, since without me you would have never discovered your power, right? Yep. Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. Ish. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? You Dude, guys just kiss Ruby, already. Okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Hmm. <laughs> Warren is nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. <laughs> no, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're going to make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. All right. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, otter versus shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's jump. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. I'm sure you will. The swimming is very. Um... Yeah. Still feel mildly awkward. Gross. Close. I feel like we just Sweet. went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hi! Hi. Oh, so he didn't hear that. Turn your fucking light off, Jesus. We have to go now. Go where? Where am I going? Make sure you cover the whole room. Are you shitting me? Oh god. What's going on? Dude, hide! Like when we were kids. Yeah, but how? I could where? use my power. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Where are you going? Hello? Anybody there? What's going on? This is awkward. Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Oh god, this is awkward, they're awkward. Fucking camera, just move. Shit. Are we good? Where's Chloe gone? <gasps> Shit! Where are we going? We are so invisible. What's happened? Let's bail. Oh, we're good. Okay. That was lucky. Confusing, but lucky. Wait! Turn around! They're coming! We have to find another way out! Oh, this is bullshit! You can't go back to your dorm now, you're a Blackwell fugitive! Crash at my place tonight! You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay! Into the car! 
Get in! Okay, um, because he doesn't know that that's her car, maybe? Never mind. And he has cameras, so let alone you can just check where everybody was. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Oh wow, the little face on the side there. Good morning, sir. You guys not sleep in the sheets, Jesus. <laughs> oh yeah. Always remember this moment. Let me take a selfie. Photo bomb. Photo hog. <laughs> it feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since since you left, basically. Hmm. I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. Music. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? Yes. I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. Let's get up. Motivate yourself, wench. Keep waving at the taxis, they keep turning their lights off. Okay, I need to get dressed now. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Supplies are endless in the yeah. evening. Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover who I was. I want to know this. So, you never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. I was stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase. Among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. Need to know. Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. <laughs> maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer and she wanted to be a model. Interesting to know. men stronger than me have thrown their backs out trying to live. Ugh. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. What's that? I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. Holy shit balls. Frank is scary. I should have let Chloe take that money. Hmm. How did... What's this? 
Just keep going. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. <laughs> wow, sir. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. Very interesting to know. It's good to keep stuff like that. <laughs> Wallet. No, we're not stealing wallets. Not today. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. <laughs> Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. Chances are expensive. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? Uh -oh. I double dare you. Kiss me now. Oh. Okay, fine. It's a double dare. You have to accept a dare. Go. Kiss. I demand it. Damn. You're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl-on-girl -girl action. You're such a dork. <laughs> oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. <laughs> Go on, clothes, get them on, get dressed. Oh god. Don't get awkward. Ah, it's not. That's okay. He got dressed very quickly. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. Oh dear. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to, uh, wake and bake first. Oh my god. I promise not to tell. No drugs. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Everything's a rewind joke. Leave the rewinds out of it. Okay, fine. Oh, we could look at a laptop, maybe. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Why is there a condom? Okay, fine, whatever, let's go. Oh my god, that smells so amazing. Kate, <gasps> Kate. We will visit Kate. Warren, what do you want? It's like when we were kids here. Photo. <laughs> Use, go on, clean your face. Feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine. And hiding. What's with the, oh. Okay. Brush teeth. Go. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. How do you know that's Chloe's brush? What's that? You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. Do it. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. Cool story, bruh. Let's go.
Go. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Uh, Joycey. Uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell <laughs> me exactly what you want to chow on. Uh, eggs and bacon. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. So pretty much everything. I can handle eggs and bacon. So basically everything that's needed to make the dinner you require. I should evolve and become a vegan, but... Huh, bacon. I agree a hundred percent on that. In here? No. Oh, jeez, can you help me get this bird out of here? Oh, look at the poor bird. He seems kind of freaked out. Bird, be gone. Fly, you fool. God damn it. Is the door even open? Oh, bollocks. God damn it. Right, open window. Window, open. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. Open the window. And now the birdie can go out. Yeah. Bye bye, birdie. He's on the fence now. Aww. Let's go out and take a photo of it. I bet you he can. Bird. Yep, yeah, told you. Photo of the bird. Knew it. Oh, and there's a dead bird. I wonder how these birds died. Uh, sit. I remember when Chloe and me would take turns in the swing. We would push each other so hard we'd fly way up in the air. Chloe always wanted to swing all the way around. <laughs> I always she's got crazy. scared and would jump off before I flew off. And Chloe is still trying to get high. Yeah. 420 blaze it. Go on, get up. Whoa, shit, there's a whole load of dead birds. Okay, let's find these eggs. The mystery eggs. Aha, there they are. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Give her... Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Let's ask. I hate to even think this, much less say it out loud, but I think Rachel is in serious trouble. I know. I watch those awful true crime shows, and it makes me ill if I think about Rachel ending up on one. So I don't think too much. 
I see why Chloe is so obsessed with finding her. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years <laughs> ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what? A century old? Yep. <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, you. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila. A breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Did you even... Yeah, you are cooking. Okay, fine. Chair. <sighs> Bottle. Who drinks beer this early around here? Clearly David. Oh man. I don't want to be famous for this. <laughs> Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. <laughs> Go eat. How do I skip this? Can you skip this? Eggs and bacon, though. It's good breakfast. I guess nobody waters the plant here. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Blech. Peanut butter. Seeing you again. Oh, okay. Oh, I was wondering what was going on then. So much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. <laughs> wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this and... and... Bad shit happened. I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive. Everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Really? Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? <laughs> Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. Wow. I do need to get into David's computer. He's got to be hiding shit. There's obviously going to be a password because he's a military type. No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Wow. 9-11. That would... <laughs> 9 one, one not 9-11. Oh, God. Nothing in it. Just the cameras. 
Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. 7171. Okay. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. No, it's too many digits. Not that one. I could try the license number for the password. Hmm, maybe. Six, three, five, six, seven. I'm thinking it might be something a little bit more obvious. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Uh, Maybe I could try Stepdad for the password. No, okay, fine. What's this? Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Tape. What's this? Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. 07 2007. Okay, let's try that one. Family. Worst hacker ever. Bollocks. Personal. Oops. No. Nope. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Okay. Try personal again. That one? Oh, shit balls. No way. Okay. Family. Stepdad. Such wrong. Fuck off. No way, Max. Over top. Fuck it off. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on. Personal. Try that one. Magic no. eight ball says no. No way. Cupboard. What's in here? Go. Nothing to see here. Okay, let's go check his car. Car could be a good one to try. Sun visor. Go. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. Hmm. Oh, oh, wrong one. Car, look. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Mm-hmm. Search. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. Use army. <sighs> Keep your wings up. <sighs> Try again. No. This is driving me mad. Personal. No, for God's sake. Family. We haven't tried that. Boom. Score! Max the hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? 
Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. Okay. Okay. I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Missing a gun, need to get that back. Padlock. Look. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. Which we could do. Hello, Chloe. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. Your daughter. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Why? They're in your house right now. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras. So he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? This You're a total paranoid, serious. David. Not now, Chloe. This just got very serious. used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Oh no, this has just got awkward. <sighs> Sorry. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Oh, God. Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, mm. you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. Shit just got real. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Mm. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Yeah, no, not really. I don't understand. Um, Chloe, let's go. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. <laughs> let's just go. We're going. We're done. I've just ruined someone's wedding. Wedding. Listen. Marriage. When I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends <laughs> right no way max she was just posing to tease frank if you're not gonna believe me why don't we check out what frank has in his rv what's that gonna prove frank has rachel's bracelet what else does he have in there motherfucker better not have anything for his sake 
Oh god, this is gonna get very, very... Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. You just keep eating your dinner book. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shitballs. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let Nuffy. my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Uh, oh god. No. Sweet. His her daddy is getting in touch. Open. Come on, Frankie Good boy. Lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. No, we're not talking to the police. We are talking to Frankie boy. Mm -hmm. Go go. Awkward. You have serious balls, little girl. Yes, You're hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? <laughs> Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. <clears throat> in other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Rewind then. Owie. Don't look like it hurt. Nathan, we're talking. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh. Oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Next, what's next? I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Go, 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 Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Rachel! Your sugar daddy will always protect you. And threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I can help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. <sighs> Holy shit, what do you want now? Kate, come on, talk, I talk, talk, talk. I bet talk. you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. 
Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, come on, speak there to the she company. is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Really? Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky, and right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. Yeah, it's a weird town. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. Makes me sick thinking about it. <laughs> Go on. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. What can I do for you, Max? I want to po poke your brain. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. <laughs> you can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. And he saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? Okay. Sound advice. What can I do for you, Max? Nathan Prescott. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Hmm. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. Talk to Max. I better she finish my breakfast up. first. <laughs> okay, cool. Holy shit. Drugs. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay <laughs> wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Really? Looks tasty, but my need for keys comes first. <laughs> no, we're ignoring TV. David Madsen is looking for that gun. He might show up on your RV step. Oh, I'm trembling. I don't need to take his little museum piece. Safe dogs. You know. act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. <coughs> hmm. Let's piss him off. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. Oh, oh fuck off. 
<laughs> I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Yep, I did. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. Rewind. You just got shut the fuck down. Key brought. Now back to Chloe. Okay, right. We've got the keys. We're on a roll of some description. Oh, fuck. Okay, fine. Let's save her. Are you shitting me? Alyssa, watch out! Sorted. Quick thinking, Max. Saving your ass every day. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. Okay. On your mark, get set. Throw! Uh, throw to parking lot. Go. Get the treat, treat boy. I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can <laughs> snoop in peace. But let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Okay. We saved the dog. Damn. I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur no. and beyond? No. Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Uh, Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. I can tell. No more daydreaming. Crack on. Chop chop. Both of us. Dog food. You scope the area while I hack his computer for info. Hack. Baseball bat. Dishes. Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is nasty. What's that? Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. Recycle, dude. <laughs> nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. What's that? Of course Frank gets the munchies. Wash that. Crappy what? How can somebody live like this? No clue. Photo. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Oh, hello. <clears throat> okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Ooh, Frank's stash. Beauty. Let's grab that knife. Knife, 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 knife. Take. This is almost as good as a set of keys. We have a knife. So that means the vent. My can blade be will open any portal. Boom. Take. Oh man. Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. More than I'm learning hangout. more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Okay. 
we have a book. Need to get the gun back. No more secrets. Book? Is Frank going to deal online now? <laughs> Whoa, what the hell is he doing with that dog? Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. <laughs> Where's the gun? Need to get the gun back. Blowtorch. That's a pretty extreme lighter. Could that be something else? Where's the gun? You gotta be able to get the gun back, surely. Aha! Open. No prize here. Fuck. Cupboard. Open. Go. Gun. Presto. Chloe's gun. Should I give it back to her? <sighs> yeah, take the gun. I have a terrible present for you. Ugh, an ounce of dank bud? Oh, you so rule, Max. Thank you. I feel so much better now. You better bring it back to David right away. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. No, oh, make sure you do. <clears throat> I might regret this, but I can't let Frank hurt someone. Pompidou? <laughs> for real? <laughs> That's a poodle's name. Drink drive. Can't quite picture Frank and Chloe drinking beer and hanging out. Right, go. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, okay. you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit. Who hasn't? Fuck everybody. Chloe. Oh. Oh dear. Why is up with Frank? He's not getting his keys back. They've been roofed. Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. Uh, I gotta say it. Grow up! God! You're not the only one in Arcadia Bay with problems. Kate Marsh almost... Yes, Kate Marsh almost killed herself. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? <laughs> Why William? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe. Your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. That was harsh. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. That's hard. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You're still here, though. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. 
And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Wow. Shit's just got real. Okay, fine, whatever, get out. Okay. Oh yeah, she got that picture off of um, Chloe's mum, didn't she? What the f Oh my god. What is happening now? What is going on? It's just moving. Use the A and D keys and until you find just happened someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers what the I hope the flash didn't scare you Max this is a keeper not until I see it first you know the rules dad Max tell him whoa hey you look totally pale are you okay yeah I just uh wow yeah I'm fine okay Chloe give me the thumbs up or thumbs down I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Yes, and and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I Who that far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them crickets. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. I love William That's true. like he was in my own family. Don't you I won't let him die today. I won't. I am when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Mess, look. What a mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. Okay, so I'm guessing I'm looking for the key. Hello? I know they never took that big vacation. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Yeah, that was very Shit, cheesy. where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. I don't know. He's looking for his keys. Aha. Okay, cool. We'll wind, rewind now. Do you remember how many eggs? Unplug. Mom said it depends. Boom. 
disconnected. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? Okay. I am. When your mom is away, I'll let her know. No that. phone call. No phone call is a Brucey. Uh, Mr. Price, in case you're thinking about using your car, I heard there's awful traffic and road construction, so you shouldn't drive at all. Max, you are the road warrior. I promise, if I have to go anywhere, I'll drive like I'm taking a test. Fair enough? Not really. I just know the roads are bad and stuff, so... So you... Since you're obviously my personal GPS, I feel safer already. So don't look so worried, Max. Chloe, speak. Can I speak to Chloe? Can't... Shit, he's got a cell phone. Fuck. Hey, honey. I have no idea why the home phone didn't ring just now. I'm just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. Fuck. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an That's excuse That's a to cool get snow dough. Shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. <laughs> You are ridiculous. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Keys are that. Ugh. Don't find them. Okay, so the house phone's unplugged. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. Damn and it. no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. <sighs> Max, you'll be Chocolate. She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Goodbye. Right. Rewind. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar. Score! You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Throw keys. Go on. Go on. Out. You are not finding them. Shit, what? Brucey. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh, yeah. The bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joys and groceries and... And it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. <laughs> Max, you are being so fucking strange. You Agreed. feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Everything's changed. Oh wow. Everybody's happy. <laughs> oh god. Now that's scary. What the? 
Fuck. What's going on? Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? What? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Cold every day. But Never like Maxine. So that's why she yeah. I know. Sorry, Mad Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Yeah, I am. Right? You should be talking to me. Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke a peace pipe? What? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Max doesn't do drugs. Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like okay, whatever, this... bitch. This is confusing. What's going Warren. on? Warren. He hooked up with Stella? Aww. They look cute. Oh no. Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Everything by the looks of it. Chloe. <laughs> what the? F He's a bus driver now. going on birdies that's mad just by changing one thing she's changed the entire lifeline of everyone else. Caulfield. Yes, he is. Taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? That's good. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor! happen oh shit Max you fucked up big time that's bad not good okay so this is my overall results okay I'm just gonna skip through everything looks good though Lisa is alive what? Who's <gasps> plant because <laughs> I watered the plant in the last one didn't I Right, okay. Okay, what's 
going on here? Ah, the dark episode four, dark room. Right, so I'm going to be recording that that one next. Episode five has just been released, but I'm going to record number four first before number five. Keep it going in sequence. I may try and rush to get number four out so I can do number five for the weekend. Maybe. No promises? Maybe. Anyway, apologies that these are such a long episodes, but again, like I said at the beginning, it's nice just to sit down, do it all in one go, in one playthrough, and one upload. So then you can just either sit and break it up yourselves and come back to it, or whatever, just at your own leisure, basically. But, like I said, I'm going to be recording number four fairly sh soon. I was going to do shortly and soon together. Shoonly. Doesn't go. Anyway, if you liked it, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, that would be very nice. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.